Hey kids, welcome to uh, Unit 3, Lesson 6, Static Variables and Constants, Exercise Number 4. We have a Choose Your Own Adventure, kids. And this exercise really is about using and applying that knowledge we learned from Exercise 1 about static variables. For this one, kids, all of the answers are pretty similar. I'm going to be doing C just to continue with our dessert theme we've been talking about for the last couple of lessons. Well, let's jump into the code. Getting started, we're going to import our dessert class from our backpack. We already have ours. Taking a look down, that looks like our updated one. In dessert.java, we're going to declare and initialize a static variable called total desserts to zero. In the desserts constructor, we're going to increase the value of total desserts by one. In my console Java, we're going to print the value of total desserts. We're going to create more dessert objects, then print off a new value of total desserts. Well, looks like we're already done with number one. Let's go to number two and declare some static variables. Where do we want to declare it at? Typically, we declare our variables right under our class declaration. I'm going to put it right underneath my private instance variables. Let's label this static variable for counting desserts. Let's look at the anatomy of a static variable. It needs to be accessed outside a class, so it's going to be public. We're going to use this word static because we want it to be owned by the parent class and it's automatically going to be shared with every subclass from the dessert class. Static will also let us change this variable. And since it's created across all of the subclasses, that means we can change this variable within the class and subclasses. This time, we just want to know how many desserts were sold. In our previous lesson, we were keeping track of videos we added to our collection. This one, it looks like it's going to be total desserts. We still need to follow the same rules we've been doing. If we're declaring a variable, we need a data type. Since we're just tracking a singular thing, it's going to be an int. Well, let's write that out, kids. That is going to be public, access across all classes, static, because we want it to be created with a parent class and shared with the subclasses, int, because that's the type of variable we're creating, and this one's going to be called total desserts. We want to set that equal to zero. That easy, kids. In the dessert constructor, increase the value of total desserts by one. Let's think of this. I want to track every time a dessert object is created. So anytime any of my constructors, which are my objects, I want to increase this variable total dessert. That means if they go to just my default dessert, I want total desserts to increase by one. That's my default. What if I have a new flavor? I want the same thing to happen, right? I want my total desserts to increase by one. Now, anytime a dessert object is created, I will know how many I have, and that's probably pretty useful information for a business owner. We're not done yet. Let's go to my console, finish up this exercise. First, we're going to print a value of total desserts. Looks like we're already calling this twice. I should get one, two, and then I should get three and four to print off. Well, let's see if I'm right, kids. One and two, then we print off our total desserts. Three and four, and our total desserts printed off. We can add more. Let's do another dessert, and this time we are going to do a cookie, and it's going to be a new dessert. 
two parameters it takes. Remember it's flavor and price. Our flavor will be cream cheese. And the price is going to be seven fifty. Now we're going to copy our code to print off our total desserts. Come down here, paste it in. Now I should get total desserts five because I created my cream cheese cookie. Well, let's see if we're right, kids. And it looks like it worked. Pretty neat way to use a static variable. Key takeaway from this lesson, kids, is this anatomy of a static variable. Remember, we declare it public because we want access outside of this class. Static because we want an instance of this variable in each of the class, and it doesn't need to be declared our data type, and then our variable name, and then whatever we're setting it to. What is a static variable useful for? We saw a great example of it in this lesson. We used it to keep track of how many desserts we created for our food truck. And as a business owner, that's important information to know. How many different desserts are on your menu at any given time? And it just doesn't have to be desserts. It could be lives in a video game, number of students in a class, or even lessons on code.org. Hopefully this video helped you understand static variables a little better. As always, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next lesson. See you later, kids. Bye. Bye.